dimensional dimensionless analysis so for this part I will teach you on how to uh, choose repeating parameters okay this is the guideline for choosing repeating parameters so I will um, read through all the guidelines before I uh, explain one by one so number one never pick the dependent variable otherwise it may appear in all the parts second is chosen repeating parameters must represent all the primary dimensions number three a combination of the repeating variables must not form a dimensionless group otherwise it will be impossible to generate the rest of the pipes number four never pick parameters that are already dimensionless number five never pick two parameters with the same dimensions or with dimensions that differ by only an exponent number six pick common parameters since they may appear in each of the pies and then last guideline is pick simple parameters over complex parameters okay let's take a look at one by one of this guideline first never pick the dependent variable otherwise it may appear in all the pies okay let me change the pen color first I will choose black color okay let's uh, let's take a look at this figure I, I draw this figure falling ball from a certain height and then we have initial velocity of the ball is W O okay initial ve vertical velocity and then we have gravitational acceleration and then we have here we have ground and then at ground we have that term at zero meter this is that term line or that term uh, surface and then from that term to the height of this ball we have z node z node is the initial elevation of this ball and then we have z okay so we want to find what is the elevation of this ball okay and uh, from here we know that z elevation is depends on is dependent on time we have time for the ball to fall from certain height and then initial velocity okay vertical velocity and then initial elevation and last is gravitational acceleration so from this function we know that z value is depends on t time initial vertical velocity and then uh, this elevation initial elevation and then gravitational acceleration therefore we cannot choose this because z is dependent variable dependent variable Okay, because z value depends on this value. So, first you cannot choose the repeating variables here. Z z cannot be chosen or choosing as a repeating variables. Another example, maybe you want uh, you do your example that deals with the pressure. Okay, pressure is a function of diameter and then uh, density uh, viscosity and velocity so you have this function and after we wrote down this function we know that the pressure here is depends on the values of diameter density viscosity and velocity therefore we cannot choose we cannot choose pressure as our repeating variables because pressure is dependent variable okay so for the guide one never pick the dependent variables where dependent variables the values of that uh, 
variables depends on the other value okay at this point pressure and z height and elevation cannot be chosen as your repeating variables because it is a dependent variable okay that is guide number one okay guide number two chosen repeating parameters must represent all the primary dimensions okay for example we know that previously after we do the Buckingham Pi theorem there is a step where we want to find repeating parameters repeating parameters value numbers or the the numbers of repeating variables is depends on the value of j if we have j equal to 3 j is uh, relates to the amount or the numbers of primary dimension that consists in your list parameters okay for example there are three primary dimensions which are m l and t if your j is 3 therefore you your list parameters contains m l and t okay and repeating variables closely related to the number of j if you have three j's therefore your repeating variables is three okay all the listed parameters you must choose three repeating variables from uh, it okay and let's say you you have three repeating variables i wrote down here so you choose repeating variables number one which uh, has dim uh, dimensions of l and then you choose repeating variables two dimension is l over t and then last repeating variables that you choose is l square okay so when you chose these three you have to multiply all those three repeating variables in order to determine whether your repeating variables represent all these primary dimension in your list parameters okay you have list all the parameters and then all the parameters consist not all the combination of all the parameters consists of primary dimension m l and t therefore from these repeating variables it must consist of m l and t so let's take a look at the multiplication product of rv1 rv2 and rv3 i wrote it down here so we multiply l with l over t okay over t and then you multiply with l square so the products of this multiplication would be l to the power of 4 divided by t do these multiplication products represent all the primary dimensions of course no because your primary dimension j is 3 and when you chose three repeating variables you multiply and the product is only consists of two primary dimension therefore from here you have to unselect or you have to remove one repeating variables and change it with others so i change the pen color here i put it red and then let's say from here I don't want to remove RV2 because RV2 consists of T. Then this is okay. But let's take a look at RV1 and RV3. So I think these two parameters need to be changed. Or maybe one of them needs to be changed. Okay. Therefore, I changed the last repeating variables with something uh, with other repeating variables and when you choose the repeating variables number three you you want to change 
these repeating variables, you must select parameters that has been listed in your question. Do not put or do not select repeating variables or variables that is not uh, listed in your question. Okay? It is only applicable for your uh, variables that is in your question. Therefore, I changed the RV3. So, I will maintain the RV1 and only RV3, uh, RV3 will be changed. Okay? Change it to a black color. Okay, I change it RV3. Re repeating variables 3 to uh, density m over l to the power of 3. So this is, I change. Okay, I change RV3. Initially, I chose L square. And then I change it to m over l3. So this is our this is our new uh, repeating variables for number three, which is density. And uh, assume that this density list in our uh, uh, parameters. Okay. And let's take a look at the multiplication products. These three repeating variables. Okay. We have l times with L over T and then I times with new repeating variables M over L to the power of 3. So 3, I can cancel out with these two and then it will become M over L T. Therefore, a new per, uh, repeating variables for number 3 can be used because it is the same as what we uh, know as what uh, as as in j okay j is 3 we have m l and 3 so when you choose repeating variables it must consist all three parameters all three primary dimensions sorry eh? all three pri primary dimension and then after we multiply the, those three repeating variables, and then we get m over l t. With uh, we multiply, and then the product that we have is all those three primary dimension. Then we can choose R v one is l, R v two is l over t, and R v three is m over l three. Okay, this is the dimension. Yeah, dimensions. Uh, from the units okay this is let's say this is diameter and then l over t is velocity and then m over l over m over l3 is density so your repeating variables is rho vd okay so that is guide number two and then let's take a look at guide number three a combination of the repeating variables not, must not form a dimensionless group otherwise it will be impossible to generate the rest of the pipes okay let's say my repeating variables number one is l okay then repeating variables for number two is sorry i, I can I, I i'm not using l but i will change it to t time eh? T is second, dimension for second is time. And then the other one is revolution per second. So I got I have one over T. So this is revolution, eh? Revolution. N is revolution, this is for time. Okay. The parameters is time, and then for the uh, repeating variables two is revolution n. Okay, n is n revolution. Then if we multiply those two repeating variables, chosen repeating variables, we see that t times with 1 over t, what we get is the dimensionless. Okay, dimensionless. Therefore, we must change one of the repeating variables into 
other variables okay so it's up to you whether you want to change rv1 or rv2 it's up to you eh? whether you want to change rv1 or rv2 you cannot choose these two variables because the multiplication product will be dimensionless num uh, dimensionless okay there there will be no uh, dimension and it is useless for you to uh, substitute these two repeating variables into your Buckingham Pi theorem method or maybe uh, maybe you need to change the rv2 uh, let's say I change rv1 I maintain rv1 as t and then I chose rv2 to l so this is time and then L is maybe diameter. Okay, when we multiply both RV1 and RV2, we will get TL. Therefore, you can choose these two repeating variables. Okay, if it if if it, if the products of your multiplication is dimensionless, then you have to change one of your repeating variables two other variables in your listed parameters so you have you in the breaking by theorem you the first step is to list all the parameters then change it to the other parameters that listed in your uh, first step of Buckingham by theorem okay change it back to black okay that is guide number three Okay, guide number four, never pick parameters that are already dimensionless. We know that we will deal with three primary dimensions, M, L, and T. So, other parameters like angle, so theta. Angle has no dimension. Since uh, uh, angle has no dimension, therefore we cannot choose the angle. Because angle is in radian or degree. Okay, am I right? Radian or degree. So radian and degree does not consist of this, uh, does not represent all, uh, one of these primary dimension. Therefore, angle is dimensionless. Okay. And then guide number five. Never pick two parameters with the same dimensions or with dimensions that differ by only an exponent. Okay, for example, you have your repeating variables number one is L. You choose L, which is maybe uh, this is uh, dimension for diameter. Okay, and then you choose another repeating variables. Number two is uh, 1 over L. This is example, eh? 1 over L. And then after you multiply both of these, you will get dimensionless number. So it cannot be chosen. Or you have to remove one of these, uh, one of these uh, repeating variables and change it with the other variables or for example you want to change you want to choose your repeating variables number one is diameter l so this is uh, di dimensions for diameter and then your repeating variables number two you want to change uh, you want to choose l square which is unit or dimensions for area as you can see here both of these repeating variables have the same dimensions. The only difference is the exponential. Therefore, you need to remove one of these uh, repeating variables and change it with the others. Okay, you cannot choose uh, the same dimensions and the only difference is the, the exponential uh, factors of uh, this upper. Um, units huh? or dimensions so change it maybe you need to change rv2 
Okay, change it to the other uh, listed parameters uh, in your Buckingham Pi theorem method. Okay, for number first, number one, eh? Okay, that is num guide number five. And guide number six, pick common parameters since they may appear in each of the pipes. So, common parameters... So common parameters. So normally common parameters are length. Okay, number one, two is velocity. Three is mass. And four is density. And uh, complex uh, common parameters. Eh? And we have a complex parameters. For example, complex parameter. For example, is dynamic viscosity. That is a complex parameters. Is it wrong for you to choose dynamic viscosity in your Buckingham Pi theorem method for the repeating variables? No, it is not wrong but it will increase the complexity of the dimension thus method buckingham pi theorem method but it is not wrong for you to choose the complex parameter okay the last guide is guide number seven pick simple parameters over complex parameters so in your parameters uh, please choose the parameters that consist one or two parameters for example you have to choose uh, three repeating variables okay repeating variables one repeating variables two repeating variables three so for you to choose repeating variables one please choose only one or two uh, primary dimension that consists inside the uh, parameters do not uh, choose the parameters that consist more than two because it will increase your complexity of dimensional analysis is it wrong no it is totally not wrong if you choose a complex parameters if you choose more than two it still be okay since you are following the all the guidelines from number one till number five but it is only different in the complexity of solving the dimensionless analysis okay so maybe from here rv1 you have to choose l and rv2 maybe l over t okay rv3 maybe uh, m so when you combine with all these three multiply and the product uh, will be l square m over so you still have these three primary dimension even you choose rv1 with one uh, primary dimension rv2 is two it is not necessarily you have to find uh, you have to choose rv1 which consists of m l over t no it doesn't mean it that uh, this guide uh, is only to reduce your complexity of solving dimensionless analysis. That's all. Okay. And that is the guidelines for choosing repeating variables. Thank you.